Time now for Ask the Expert. Winter is prime time for colds and flus. Yeah, and so a lot of people like to Google their symptoms to see what's wrong with them, but that's not always the best idea. We have Dr. Jennifer McKinnon with the Medical College of Wisconsin here to talk about this. You know, I had an uncle who was uh, a doctor, and he said first year of med school, everyone thought they were dying because they see these symptoms like, well, I got that. I could have this, mm -hmm. you know. But we have the, the ability to sort of Google these things. Uh, is this a good thing? I think it is overall, but it has to be taken with a grain of salt, really. Um, you can go online now, even with mobile cell phones left and right. So people are overall Googling some healthcare symptom. The numbers are like 80% in the past year that a single person has Googled some health symptom. Mm -hmm. And Google is getting onto this. They're going to have Google Health and different things coming down the line where when you go into a search engine, hopefully you'll get more reliable information up front. So they're looking at this. So Doc Google has jumped onto the craze saying that people really want to know what's wrong with me. Are there any negatives for people to look out? There can be. When you do a vague search of a symptom, for example, chest pain, you can yeah. get everything from yeah. a heart attack to anxiety mm -hmm. to um, acid reflux to a cold. I mean, the gamut is there. So it's really hard to find a tailored search engine. There are certain websites that end with like .gov or .org mm -hmm. that tend to be more reliable than a .com. And being really careful in a website where you're talking to other people and sharing anecdotal stories. So what sort of advice would you give people to say, well, you know, I'd like to know, and especially sometimes people like to Google information, they've just gotten the diagnosis mm -hmm. and they would like to find out more about it. So how do you know you're getting reliable information? That's really tough to know. I mean, besides the .gov kind of websites and the .org that the are CDC, being regulated. Right, the CDC, know. WebMD, the National Institute of Health. Um, the AHQR, the American Healthcare Quality. There's certain mm -hmm. websites. Mayo Clinic has a good one in Cleveland mm -hmm. Clinic. You so really reputable uh, medical facilities or people doing research on it, institutions. Right. Those tend to be more reliable um, where you have research backing the validity of the studies. But otherwise, it's wonderful for people that have a disease process or is, and want to have camaraderie and share what they're going through. I see a lot of patients really feel um, empowered by that mm -hmm. and even self-managing their own diseases at home, mm -hmm. sharing um, w on different social media websites what they're going through. So going on Facebook and saying, you know, I'm feeling A, B, or C. Does anybody know what I have? <laughs> Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Unless all your friends are <laughs> pre-meds. Yeah. 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 I wonder how many responses you would get. Right. And it would vary across the map. Likes or but comments. Maybe they would also put a little tag for a reputable website and mm -hmm. say, you know. Well, if you say, were my friend on Facebook, you would do that, wouldn't <laughs> yeah. you? Oh, yeah. Right. No and liability the thing, there, I'm sure. Right. No <laughs> liability. The other good thing is, Doc, Google can't get you a doctor's notes or, note or excuse. Uh, yeah. So that's why you should go to the person. Yes, it uh, is good. Well, some good advice there. We appreciate that. If you have a question for our experts, email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. We have the number right there for you.